what's going on traders happy monday thank you guys so much for tuning back into today's video i hope you guys all had an amazing weekend and as usual let's jump right into today's recap and so as you guys can see from the screen i did have a pretty decent green day in terms of my overall account right but as far as how i did day trading wise i was down about 17 dollars on sqqq and up about 75 dollars on tqqq so as you guys can tell right i wasn't you know up a very big dollar amount i was up about a little over half a percent right and so i'm gonna go ahead and explain to you guys exactly you know what my thought process was for the day and um you know what i could have done better heading into or what i can do better heading into the rest of the week so as far as what i saw going on the nasdaq as you guys can see right that we are currently looking at the nasdaq future on the one day one minute chart and so it was consolidating during the pre-market right just pretty much trading sideways between the top and the bottom view up for the most part and so, you know, we did end up peaking out right above the top view up again, pulling on back and right on market open, what ended up happening. So, so as you guys can see, the Nasdaq started to take a bit of a dip here, right? And it ended up forming, you know, a nice support where previous previously did it during the pre-market session, right? Ended up bouncing and it just started to rip on the day. And so I initially took an SQQQ position because once it got rejected pretty nicely, you know, I didn't know which way direction was headed. So I just wanted to take a small position on SQQQ, right? Once it ended up bouncing and breaking above VMA, I cut losses, right? So that's why I did have that $17 loss there. But as far as what ended up happening, well, I noticed that the NASDAQ was forming pretty decent green candles, right? They were very strong. And as even it broke above the top view up, it broke pre-market resistance and continued to soar, right? So... That's why I ultimately decided to change my focus and get into TQQQ for the day. And so as you guys can see, this thing would start to climb and I would, you know, try to get in. And today, to be honest, I wasn't going in very aggressive. The main reason for that was the Nasdaq has been very overbought. You know, if, if you guys can see, I can take a little zoom out for you guys the past 20 days. So since January 6th, right, the market has just been you know, doing a pretty decent job of forming these higher highs and higher lows, right? So we are very overextended at this point because as you guys can see on the bigger time frames, right? Anytime we have approached these general areas, right? We have tended to see some form of resistance. Doesn't mean it has to, right? But I just want to make you guys aware that we ultimately have found a support around this area and now we typically are seeing resistance around these areas. So we are trading around more of a resistance area and so i do want to make you guys aware of that because if we do start to pull on back it can bring a lot of the tech stocks with it right the top tech stocks like microsoft apple all those big companies can go down with it right tesla included and so you know for all you long-term holders this is a bit of a critical point we are gonna have to see if this thing you know pushes above and breaks above these res resistance areas and continues to climb or if we are going to see, you know, this thing start to pull back these next few days, right? We just ultimately have to follow up with it and see where it goes. But I just wanted to give you guys that little background to let you guys know why I wasn't too aggressive today, right? I thought we were pretty overextended. And given that, right, I just wanted to play it safe in case this thing did pull on back. I didn't want to be in with a heavy position size. So I tried getting into TQQQ whenever I felt this thing was, you know, finished consolidating and ready to start an uptrend. And I did get burned a few times, right? I wasn't trading it perfect at all. Um, but um, one thing I can, you know, let you guys know that I can improve on, right? In this situation again is on the bigger time frame, although we are very overextended, once I saw this thing break above this resistance it had, right? And actually start to continue to push, that could have indicated to me that there was going to be lots of buying pressure to follow. And so it's not like it would have been the absolute worst idea to get, get a bit aggressive right and size up on these trades but you know it's never the worst idea to play it safe but i'm just saying you know heading forward in the future if i ever see you know on the bigger time frame that it is starting to break out and there could be potential buying pressure right as long as i see like handles are holding strong above the ema then you know that could definitely encourage me in the future to want to size up on one on one of these trades right if i just caught one of these trades sized up right with my full 10k position it could have been over a hundred dollars right within a few minutes of trading and that would have been nice but you know still happy with my performance overall and the fact that i was able to end green right and just with the fact that my swing trades were also up um 
But one thing I did want to mention to you guys, right, as far as this week, there are going to be lots of earnings that are reported by big companies. And so as far as which ones you can actually see that are reporting right earnings, if you actually go ahead and Google um, earnings calendar, I believe, right, I actually clicked on the first link and it was this one here that popped up. And um, as you guys can see, it actually go. it's a nice little website that goes ahead to tell you the earnings for you know big companies and it tells you the more important ones at the top so as you guys can see today is monday but as far as what's going on the rest of the week well tomorrow as you guys can see we have microsoft j and j right so <clears throat> johnson and johnson and you know verizon is also reporting earnings tomorrow so these will typically all happen after market close right typically around an hour to an hour and a half after market close right the only drawback of this site i'm noticing is it doesn't even tell you what time it will be reported at but that's something you can always find on the chart and so on Wednesday as you guys can see Tesla is having earnings right so for example if you guys are wondering how to find what time they're reporting right you can go ahead and just type in the stock right and on the bigger time frames as you guys can see right we are reporting earnings soon and if you just hover above here it'll tell you right so on 125.23 at 4.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. So that's about an hour and a half after market close, wherever <clears throat> or whichever time zone you guys are in, right? So that's pretty much what's going on, right? As you guys can see, Tesla on Wednesday. On Thursday, right, we have Visa, MasterCard. So definitely lots of big companies. And on Friday, Chevron, right, lots of big other companies. Colgate, so definitely lots to see, right? So there will be lots of action because... These types of movements can potentially, you know, drive the market um, depending on how big it moves. But we just have to wait and see what ends up happening, right? So that's everything I wanted to talk about in today's recap. I really appreciate each and every single one of you that tune on back into these videos. If you guys are new, we do appreciate you dropping like and subscribing. It really helps us out a lot. But other than that, if you guys have any questions, want me to break down any stock for you, any stock indicator, I am more, more than happy to. Just go ahead and drop a comment and I will be more than happy to go ahead and make a video for you guys. But that will be everything for today. I will be posting a recap tomorrow. So I hope to see you guys then. Good luck in trading tomorrow and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. See you.